Hello, friends. This video is your permission slip to not see the Bible as the Word of God. This video is your permission to see the Bible in a drastically different way than the people in your comment sections or your family gatherings <laughs> may see the Bible. Uh, and I'm telling you this because I've had this revelation uh, over the course of the last few months. I have had some discussions with people in my own comment sections, in particular on YouTube, uh, where the other person on the other side of the screen is coming at me with this truckload of Bible verses. In my spirit, I'm just like, I don't really care what these verses say. And for the longest time, I, I didn't say that to the other person. I would just go back and forth with them about, well, you say the, this verse. Well, let's look at the context of this verse. Let's take this apart. And the person has then more Bible verses and more things about the Bible being the Word of God. And the conversation just spirals nowhere as I find myself just buried under this, this pile of Bible verses that I can't possibly come out from underneath because there's just too much to talk about that the other person on the other side of the screen doesn't want to hear about and they don't want to talk about. And so the conversation inevitably, inevitably goes nowhere and I leave frustrated and they leave feeling like they have won the conversation. Uh, so I've come to this place now where when someone comes at me with all these Bible verses, and maybe this will help you, maybe it won't. I don't know. This is just where I'm at. I tell the person, that's fantastic that John says this and Revelation says this and Paul says this and you know Exodus and Leviticus say this. That's fantastic. But I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what the Bible says. The person says, how could you possibly not care what the Bible says, right? The Bible is the word of God. And I say, well, it's the word of God for you, but it's not the word of God for me. I don't see it as the word of God. And so why do you get to use all these verses as your main argument? And I have to apparently listen to them and bow to them and say that you're 100% right. The Bible is 100% right. When I don't see the Bible that way, why, why, why do I have to bow to these verses like you do when you see it as the word of God and, and I don't? That doesn't make any sense. First of all, the Bible is the Word of God, and I believe it's the Word of God, so it's my main argument. So I say to them, okay, so the Bible is the Word, you believe the Bible is the Word of God, and so you get to use these verses as your main argument. Yes, okay. What if I believe that the Quran is the authoritative Word of God? I believe it's the inerrant, perfect, authoritative Word of God. Do I get to use verses? paragraphs and excerpts from the Quran is my main argument, and then you have to accept it? Well, no, of course not. Why? Because I don't believe it's the Word of God. I said, aha, so there is the issue. You see the Bible as the Word of God, so you get to use it as your main argument, even if I don't see it as the Word of God. But if I see the, the Quran as the Word of God and you don't, I don't get to use it as my main argument. So you have this this upper hand that I could never possibly ever overcome, right? Why? Well, because the Bible is the Word of God. Says who? Says the Bible. Okay, so you're saying that the Bible is the Word of God because the Bible says it's the Word of God. Yes. Okay. Just because I say I can fly doesn't mean I can jump off my house right now and, and fly across town. Just because I say I can lift up a car off the ground doesn't mean I can lift a car off the ground. Just because I say I can swim across the Atlantic Ocean and do, do the backstroke, nonetheless, across the Atlantic Ocean and arrive on the other side of the world doesn't mean I can, I can do that. Just because I say I can do something doesn't mean that it's true. Just because the Bible says it's the Word of God, that's not a good enough argument for saying that the Bible is the Word of God. And so we go, we go back and forth on this issue and we, 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 we inevitably never actually get into the actual issue at hand because we can't see the Bible in the same way. And so I say to the person, I said, listen, I'm happy to talk to you about this. Let's say it's the LGBTQ issue. I'm happy to talk to you about LGBTQ people, homosexuality, 
uh, the morality, the ethics of all the different things. But we can't use Bible verses as our main support, right? Because you see it as the word of God. I don't. Okay, so we, we have to push that aside. We have to come to this table, come to this discussion, and we have to leave those things aside. And more often than not, the person on the other side of the screen is not willing to do that because they haven't thought about the issue outside of the context of the verses that they know, that they've been given in church or school or that they've read in books or whatever. And so what I wanted to tell you is that you, you don't have to engage in these conversations with people where you go back and forth about the Bible. There's nothing wrong with you if you don't believe that the Bible is the Word of God. I still love the Bible. I know that many of you do as well. I have Bibles all over my office. I read them all the time. I even have Eugene Peterson's devotional Bible that I read from almost every day. I love the Bible, but I don't see it as the Word of God anymore. Right? For me, it's this collection of books. It's this collection of texts that spanned the course of literally thousands of years, thousands of cultures and languages that are far removed from our own. And they're just depicting people's ideas of what does it look like to walk through this very visible life with this very invisible God. What does this look like? And that's what the Bible is. It's human words about God. It's not God's words about humans. And listen, it's okay, right? It's okay. Again, this is your permission slip to not engage in those conversations where you go back and forth with Bible verses and argue about what this verse says, what that verse means, and all these different things. If if, if the Bible doesn't mean anything to you, if the Bible is not you know, your guidebook for your life, basic instructions before leaving earth, that burlap to cashmere song. If that's not how you view the Bible anymore, you don't have to argue about it. You don't have to go back and forth about it. The other person might have their verses fine. And you can just tell the person, that's great that the Bible says that, but I don't really care. I care very much about this issue. I'd love to talk to you about it, but we're going to have to leave our Bible verses at the door. So we can have a respectful conversation where we can both meet on level ground. Just because you see the Bible as the Word of God doesn't mean I have to see it as the same way. And saying that the Bible is the Word of God because the Bible says so isn't really all that convincing to me. So let's have a conversation. Let's leave our holy text at the door. And let's talk about the actual issue at hand in a, in a respectful, uplifting way where neither one of us shoots down the other one or makes the other one feel less than because their ideas are different. Let's just have a conversation. And maybe in all of that, I can learn from you. You can learn from me. Or you're welcome to bring the Bible into the conversation. I've told this to people as well before. Fine. You want to talk about what the Bible says? That's fine. But don't talk about the Bible and expect that to be like the hammer. Don't weaponize your Bible in a way that's going to make it like you won the argument, you won the conversation. I don't really think that's a fair way for us to use the Bible because I'm not using other texts. I'm not using anything else to make you feel less than. I'm just here to discuss an idea with you and to hopefully come away having learned something from your perspective. And maybe you can learn something from mine. We can go our separate ways and hopefully make the world somewhat of a better, a better place. And so anyways, friends, again, this is your permission slip to not see the Bible as the Word of God. This is your permission slip to tell people you don't see the Bible as the Word of God. This is your permission slip to see the Bible however it is that you want to see the Bible in this season of your life. I hope that helps somebody. I don't know. It's something I've been thinking about the last few days. And so much love to you. I'll catch you later. Peace.